Hi guys, my name is Ashan Lal and you are on the Fit Skeptic. Um, today's topic is um, what is the problem with CrossFit? Now the basic concept of my channel is that I'm going to pick on different fitness trends. Today happens to be CrossFit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to point out all that I think is wrong with that fitness trend. Now that doesn't mean I think the trend itself is bad or wrong. I just want to point out aspects of the trend that I think are unnecessary or a bit, they go too far. And also in that process, potentially highlight any gaps that you may have if you are in, if you're participating in that particular trend. So say if you're a CrossFitter, for example, I'm hoping that my video today will give you an insight into certain aspects that may be lacking in your training. Hell, there might be none at all. You might be perfectly fine and you might be doing a great CrossFit routine and you're injury free and you're making great progress. If that's the case, then this, this might not be for you, but uh, I hope that the information here would potentially highlight gaps in your workouts because to be honest, everybody's going to have some gaps in their workout. Nobody's workout program is perfect. So I hope that this gives you some insight into that. So what is wrong with CrossFit? And my answer is going to surprise a lot of you. Absolutely nothing. That's it, video done. Are we over? I know some of you thought that I was a douchey bodybuilder who talk, would say that CrossFit is for pussies and it's stupid and I'm gonna lose all my gains, blah, 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 all that shit. Nah, none of that. I'm a big fan of CrossFit. It has um, a lot of benefits. Uh, the workouts are often high intensity workouts and they are short intervals, so it's very time efficient and a great way to get a workout in if you are short on time. Um, the workouts have a wide, a wide variety of movements, so you're doing a lot of different sports. You're, you're doing uh, Olympic lifting, you're doing gymnastics, you're doing some calisthenics, you're engaging in endurance sports. So uh, it's a very holistic approach to fitness because uh, it'll help you improve your capabilities uh, in many, many different ways, in different facets. Help you jump higher, run longer, swim further, be better at rowing. So it makes you an all-round very fit person. Uh, and my final point about CrossFit and why it's so great is, is the social aspect of it. Uh, CrossFit is usually quite a tight-knit community. Uh, it's a very supportive community, they always got each other's backs, they're always supporting each other through workouts and having such a community in, in your workout can help motivate you, help you get to the gym, help you push yourself harder. Um, so yeah, like CrossFit I think has reached a point where it's borderline a cult. Hell, when cult fitness came out I thought it was just a CrossFit gym and CrossFit had just started to own the fact that they were a cult. But, yeah, that turned out not to be the case. Nonetheless, I hope Cult Fitness doesn't sue me for this, but I'm pointing out Cult Fit and CrossFit are not the same thing. It was a misconception that I had, just clarifying for legal purposes. So then you ask, why is my video titled The Problems with CrossFit? And uh, I'm not saying that CrossFit is a problem. I'm saying that some ways that people do CrossFit is a problem. So, the issue arises in the sense that CrossFit makes exercising a sport. So when you're exercising in a sports setting means you have to do it as fast as you can. So you, you'll take say a complex movement which is technique heavy. Uh, CrossFitters do Olympic lifts for example. They do power cleans, they do snatches um, and they do them in a time restricted setting. So uh, they have to do as many reps of, say, a, a snatch as they can in 30 seconds before they can move on to the next uh, to the next station for whatever exercise that is. Now, what happens in such a situation is, is when you when you have the added time pressure, you've already done a whole bunch of reps, and your core is fatigued. Now you have time pressure, and you have your core fatigue, which is a very crucial part of a lot of these exercises. Your core has to be very stable in order to perform 
uh, a snatch which is a very difficult uh, multi-joint movement in order to make sure that your positioning is right but when you're like you've got 10 seconds left or you know your competitor is getting ahead of you you might throw considerations of form out the window and that can be highly problematic um, my other issue with CrossFit is is that it misses out a lot of things so like if you have specific goals CrossFit might not necessarily be the best way to achieve those goals say you want to get stronger or you want to you know you want, you're into bodybuilding and you want to build muscle is CrossFit the most optimal way to build muscle no is CrossFit uh, the best way to get stronger no say you're an athlete now and you want to train for your sport um, is CrossFit the best way to train for your sport? Probably not. Again, you're doing a whole variety of movements and your sports will have specific requirements. And you're better off training for those requirements than training in this broad sense. Um, it's not focused on specific bodily skills you may need for your sport. So, for example, you're a golfer, you need to have good rotational ability in your core is CrossFit uh, including enough exercises to build that strength or is it say maybe building your upper body muscles too much to the point that it leads to some kind of stiffness that's impacting your sport so it's important to consider what your goals are if your goals are to generally gain a competent level of fitness in a variety of movements uh, and you're not really specific, oh, I need to be good at this or that, then absolutely CrossFit is 100% for you. So this video is basically for people who are already in CrossFit and they want to improve or fine tune or make sure that their CrossFit workouts are going well. Uh, they want to look for red flags in their training centers or find gaps in their training that might not be covered. So. Here are some considerations for people like you. Next time you go to your CrossFit gym, uh, be a bit more observant. Ask a few more questions when you go in. Observe your trainer. Is he or she competent? Are they making sure you're doing the exercises correctly? Are they taking out the time to warm up properly? Are they taking the time to teach you the techniques properly? When you're doing a difficult exercise, are they observing you closely and making sure that you're doing the exercise correctly? Or are they just giving you the exercises and being like, okay guys, go for it. Another important aspect which often gets ignored is, are they stopping you when your form is breaking down? Now this could be a major issue. So when that competitive environment of CrossFit comes in, uh, you can sometimes get lost in that and just be like, you know, I'm just going to get my reps out, man, I'm just going to smash it, I'm going to smash everyone. That's just, that's just who I am, I'm a, I'm a king, I'm a boss. But if your trainer is not coming in and stopping you in that situation, you need to reconsider your CrossFit gym because you're going to hurt yourself and uh, then you're not going to be able to train for a while. And then you can just have your own little mini quarantine sans coronavirus. And for what? So yeah, go see the environment at the gym, make sure it's not just a bunch of egos uh, forcing the movement. Ask questions, ask your trainer questions. What's the correct form? Why you're doing a certain thing a certain way? Um, just be curious in general and that will help you to make sure that you're in the right environment at the right gym, learning the right things and it'll help you work out safer and better. So that concludes my video, um, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, if you have any further questions please get in touch with me on my social media, I have an Instagram page The Fit Skeptic, uh, I'll be uploading this video on YouTube as well, uh, so yeah, please follow me or subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah, stay skeptical, thanks.